Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video. And uh, last week in one of my haul videos, I mentioned that I got one of the Laura Mercier um, Mineral Flawless Face Kit. And I mentioned in that video that I was going to do a review on how I like the, uh, the four items that I got in the kit. So I got a mineral powder, the Laura Mercier Concealer, and the Mineral Illuminating Powder in Starlight, and also a uh, foundation primer, a mineral foundation primer. And came inside the kit is, uh, is a two brushes. One that's a powder brush and another one that's the concealer brush. So the overall, I, um, I think is one of the best mineral foundations that I've used. And uh, I definitely prefer it uh, better than the Bare Essentials mineral foundation uh, that I've tried in the past. Now I thought the best way to do the review is to basically apply it on my face and show you how the product works. So at the moment I um, have my eyes done and my eyebrows done and I don't have anything on my face besides uh, moisturizer. The I have my eyes done and, um, and my eyebrows done and the look that I'm wearing is uh, a look that's inspired by one of the promo videos at the Shuamera makeup counter. Um, so I will be doing a tutorial on that look in the future. Um, so here it is. Here it goes. Here's the application. Now the brushes I don't really like. Um, the hairs are not that dense and I don't feel like it gives me a very good um, uh, buffing action for coverage. So I'm not going to use um, the uh, brush that it came with and either do I love the concealer brush that it came with. I don't know if you can tell but the tip of the concealer brush it's um, pointed so I don't I generally prefer them a little bit more flat so you can blend it out a little bit more easier so I will be using um, uh, my other brushes for the application to show you. So first is to apply the foundation primer now the primer, it's um, pretty lightweight and fairly easy to just kind of glide on the skin, but it's not that uh, silicone based primer like um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It doesn't feel that way, it's more of a cream texture. Which I'm just going to clip my hair out of the way. It's more of a cream texture. It feels more like um, the texture is more like Max Prep and Prime. So I just put some powder in the lid, and I've used. I will be using my Kabuki brush. And just kind of evenly buff it onto the skin. Now this is one of the great things about using mineral powder foundations is that the application process is super quick. And that's basically it. The coverage I would say it's sort of a, a light to medium coverage. It would be great for um, covering up redness and uh, maybe that uh, the bluish veins, those kind of discolorations. I don't know how it would cover um, for acne prone skin or acne scars. Um, and the now I would be I will be applying the concealer, and um, the concealer I really 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 like. I'm using my uh, Mac 224 brush, and the concealer is very creamy and very blendable and great for the under eye area. And the coverage is really great as well. And next thing is the Starlight Mineral Illuminating Powder. 
Now, with the instructions that the kit came with, um, they mentioned that you can either use this um, illuminating powder to highlight, or you can dust it all over the face for a glow. It is a very fine milled powder. There's nothing sparkly about it. Um, and it gives you that very sheer It's a very sheer glow. It's very pretty. So I've just applied that to the area of the face that I like to highlight. So there you go, that's basically it. Um, that's how long it would take um, to apply the foundation and the concealer. So as you can see, it's very, very quick when you're working with mineral uh, powder foundations. Um, however, um, I think for my preference, I still like the um, liquid foundations and cream-based foundations. I just feel like it's more, um, more moldable to your skin and it, it blends much nicer when it warms up to your skin, um, to your body temperature, and I also like the more dewy look that the liquid foundations uh, tend to leave. Um, so overall, I really do like these products. I definitely would purchase the Laura Mercier concealer again, and um, also the Starlight Mineral Illuminating Powder. And if I were to use a mineral foundation because I needed to, I need to leave the house and, and get ready really quickly I probably would reach for the mineral powder but however if I have more time I probably would go for my uh, usual my favorite uh, liquid foundations thank you so much for watching and uh, please subscribe to makeup by tea